I'm Karen Bryla McNeese. I'm a dietitian with the UK Health and Wellness Program. And the Health and Wellness Program is uh, part of the University of Kentucky. And each summer we host the local Lexington Farmers Market on our campus. So we're responsible for um, coordinating that on the university end to be able to bring our, our city's market uh, here to our employees. So people just got, you know, one point every time they visited uh, the market. So they were instructed to just come, you know, to our health and wellness table at the market um, to kind of check in with us. Um, and we would also take, of course, new signups um, at the market as well. Um, but we basically had it, you know, the, the sign up linked up on our website and in all of our marketing communications to our employees for them to get on board with Farm Fan. Um, but then, of course, we took new, new folks, signed them up at the market. Um, and um, yeah, we basically had a reward structure. So as they were getting points, um, they could accumulate them. And for every five, 10, and 15 points they earned, they could redeem those points for a prize. Um, so we purchased some prizes. They included like little lunch bags and lunch kits and, um, oh, farmer's market, like tote bags, shopping bags. Um, they even got to purchase some Lexington farmer's market merchandise as well, um, especially once they got up to 15 points. So that's kind of the general way uh, that we used it last year. Yeah, it was fantastic. I, and I think we were really surprised at people's reactions to it. Um, I think, you know, people, I think, just liked being a part of something, right? And feeling, I don't know, almost like it was a special little club. Like, yeah, I'm a farm fan. And they really bought into that idea. I think they really liked that. And I mean, you know, I mean, people just you know, love to show their support for, you know, local farmers and, you know, these kinds of things. And I, I, I think that really, that really got people. Um, and of course, you know, that weekly reminder from a practical perspective that, you know, our market's every Wednesday afternoon. So when they get that, you know, text message, you know, Wednesday at 11 a.m., uh, that made a huge difference, we found out talking to folks, you know, because folks can plan all week to go to the market and then that Wednesday can come and you have a meeting or you forget or you just drive home and don't go the way, you know, that takes you to the market because you forget. Um, so just a lot of people saying like, hey, that was really great. You know, I would have totally forgotten to come today if I didn't get that text reminder. Um, so I'd say from both of those perspectives, um, it was great. And it also gave us a you know, database of contact information to use, which we have kind of struggled with. This is, uh, that was our third year of the market last year. Um, and of course the first year using farm fan and a couple of years before that, we kind of struggled with, you know, having, you know, a database of people that we knew were interested in the market that we could communicate with to really get them to, you know, get excited and come support us. Um, so farm fan, you know, from our perspective, gave us that database, you know, where we were able to get about 300 people by the end of the season who we knew had some interest in it and who would be, you know, pretty loyal supporters. that generally people were okay with that. They were pretty excited about it. Um, there were a few people, I think, who, you know, once you explained what it was, were like, oh, no, I don't need another text message. Or, um, I mean, most people did have texting, but for some people, they didn't have texting or they got, you know, charged mm -hmm. per text or something and they didn't want to bother. But I think for the most part, people are so used to texting now as a way to, you know, do all these things that I don't, I don't think it really, you know, bothered many people at all. Like I said, they could sign up like through our website, like if they were just looking for information about the farmer's market and that was hooked up on that part of the website. Or again, I think the majority of our signups probably did come from the physical presence at the market. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can probably think of a few people very specifically that that, that happened with mm -hmm, who I know were farm fans and who would not necessarily be big market visitors, um, but who ended up coming pretty routinely.
I would tell them to do it for sure. Um, I think it adds a lot of value, um, not only again for us on the back end is, you know, people who are running a market or vendors themselves to, um, you know, kind of be able to capture what's going on and who is visiting and all of that. But um, I think from the user experience, they just were overwhelmingly positive about it. And again, in terms of feeling like I think they were connected, they felt, you know, like they were kind of part of this special group. They just loved, you know, the the reminders because it's something they really wanted to do but could easily forget. Um, and knowing that they could just, you know, get these rewards too. I mean, people love prizes and love rewards. Um, and so I think, you know, us using it in that way um, was, was really effective too.